Welcome to my astronomy channel. If you haven't done so already, please leave a like on this video and consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. So what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you how I made my mineral moon image. So we're going to be going over how to take this image from what you're seeing here to to this image here. Okay, so let's get started. So the program that I'm using here is Adobe Photoshop. Okay, like this, this is just what works for me. Um, you may be able to do something similar with a different program, but this is the one I use and it's the one I recommend. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the background here and we're going to drag it down and we're going to duplicate it and then we're going to hide it. Okay, I don't know why, but we need to do this or it does not work if we don't do these first initial step steps. It will fail every time. Now, on the keyboard, we're going to go Control A, Control Shift C, and Control V. And what we just did was we duplicated the background. And now, as you can see, we have a whole other layer over here on the lower right that showed up. Now we're going to delete our copy because we don't need it. Now the next step is we're going to go image, auto color. And now as you can see it kind of looks like it grayscaled the image a little bit. But not to worry, it's perfectly okay. We're going to make some adjustments here later on to deal with that. Um, so let's begin. So we're going to go adjustments, exposure, and I want to begin to roll this exposure down just a tad. As you can see, we're kind of taking a lot of some of that grayscale back out of there. And again, this is personal preference. You just you adjust it to what you like. You know, what's the image that you want? And then I'm going to go into the brightness and I'm going to lower that down just a smidge maybe a little more and I'm going to add some contrast to this there we go so this is kind of where I want it I would like you know I mean, I'll probably come back and do some adjustments later now this is where the magic happens we're going to come down here and we are going to go hue saturation now, now you're going to want to grab this and just kind of wing it all the way over, okay? You're going to have to resist that urge, okay? Don't do that. So, let's go back to zero. So, what I like to do is we're going to click into this box, and then using the up and down arrows on the keyboard, we can walk this up one point at a time. And as we start to walk this up, if you watch the image, you're going to see it start to transform. So we're going to come up just a little more because again you don't want to go too far. And yeah I think about right there is as far as I want to take it because I think if I go too much more you know the image just isn't going to look good. Now we're going to go to our adjustments again and now I like to go over here to vibrance and I want to raise the vibrance here and as you'll see the picture is going to start to get even better now. We're going to take that up just a smidge, not much. Now we're going to go back to our exposure and we're going to kind of drop that just a smidge and then we're going to come back to our contrast and yeah, I think we'll take just a smidge out of there maybe a little more and you know I'm I mean I'm kind of I'm kind of happy with this image you know let's zoom into it a little bit you know that doesn't look too bad this is a you know considering 
you know, the, that it's only a half moon as well. But this isn't too bad. But um, I hope you find this video educational. I hope it helps you to be able to do this to your own moon pictures. Um, so again, consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to leave a like on this video.